This is a map of the Cantabrian coast of Spain on the Bay of Biscay. I planned a trip there. It turned out my proposed itinerary paralleled the iconic medieval Christian pilgrimage route called the Way of St. James or the Camino de Compostela. We shared the same destination, the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. We started our personal pilgrimage in the town of Anariba. Our hotel, the San Nicolas. We headed west through Basque country. When we hit the coast, it was immediately apparent we were in for a wonderful trip. It was a beautiful place. we hit the tapas bars, Spain's singular contribution to the world of snack food. They had barnacles. If you ever get the chance to try them, I recommend you do so. Old Sidra Dura, hard cider. A visit to Bilbao and the Guggenheim Museum. Fabulous exterior. On to Altamira home to the famous ancient cave paintings. You're not allowed into the real cave now, but there's a very nice model recreation. The fantastical paintings were created with charcoal and ochre. Some of the oldest work here dates back 36,000 years. A stop at Gaudi's famous El Capricho built in 1883. Santiana del Mar. It's a beautifully preserved town that was an important stop on the pilgrimage during medieval times. The Jewel of Cantabria. It's nicknamed the Town of Three Lies. Neither a saint, Santo, nor flat, Yana, nor is it by the sea or mar, Santiana del Mar. Back to the coast and the colorful town of Cudiero. As someone who loves boats, fish and fishing, exploring this coast was a real treat for me. There was great seafood all along the way. I ate 
Ja. The scallop shell holds great significance here. Wearing pendants like this identified the pilgrims traveling the Camino. The lines on the shells represent a metaphor for the many walking routes all leading to a single point, the tomb of St. James in Compostela. On the island of Atosha, you can visit the Capella de las Crunchas, the Chapel of the Scallops. These are granaries called Oreos. All too soon, we arrived at Compostela. Nearing the cathedral, I heard bagpipers. There's lots of ancient Celtic DNA in Galicia. An Irish jig. The cathedral at last. Since St. James was an apostle of Jesus and was martyred in Palestine in 44 AD, it's fair to ponder why his remains are here in northwestern Spain. The story goes that in 814, a hermit named Plagius saw strange lights in the sky. Heading out in that direction, he found what appeared to be a stone boat filled with human remains. He summoned Bishop Theodomirius of Iria Flavia, and upon investigation, it was supernaturally revealed that the bones were those of St. James. So they built their church right there. Entering the cathedral, you're greeted by the portico of glory from the original facade of the church. The cathedral has a spectacular altarpiece. Dual organs the most beautiful in the world. As it happened, our visit coincided with a very special high mass. The boat of Fumerio had been brought out of the library for the special occasion. It's an incense sensor, and at 80 kilos and 5 feet in height, the world's largest. It hangs by a rope from the dome, and with pulleys, it can be raised and swung from side to side. It's filled with charcoal and incense. When ignited, 
the smoke rises upward to the top of the dome. And as it does, your prayers may be carried upward to the heart of God. The congregant's sins might be absolved. Its incense depleted, the boat of Fumario slowly swung to a stop. We all headed out into the cool evening air. I felt happy, thankful to be freed from the burden of my sins. It was a beautiful sunset. <laughs>